Chaos breaks out at Thursday night's St. John's County Republican Executive Committee meeting. Liz Ryan was at the scene. There were allegations of fraudulent meeting minutes, invalid memberships, frozen bank accounts, missing money, Democrats infiltrating the Republican Party. But among the he said, she said, there was one thing for sure. The meeting devolved into chaos. The next time you're going to be escorted out of the building. No, she will not. Yes, sir, she will. Make me leave. Mario DiPolo urged the audience to calm down. Jamie will respond, no, but I can't no, hear. No, it's impossible to hear everybody at once, though. REC members were at the Classic Car Museum to vote on a new chairman. Some expected interim chair Jamie Parham, who took over for ousted chairman Blake Patterson, to be elected to the seat. Supporters of Patterson, still reeling from his ouster, nominated Denver Cook, who pulled off a surprise upset and won the chairmanship. Teresa Davis took issue with the process, but was happy the candidate of her choice, Denver Cook, won. They cheated and let a lot of people vote that weren't supposed to vote, and we still beat them. Jackie LeBlanc also walked away happy. We won an election and we were surprised because a lot of our county officials and so forth brought in the establishment and we really thought the interim chair was going to get it. Rhonda Brennan describes her feeling when her candidate, Jamie Parham, was not elected chair. Stunned. Every time we get a patriot close into a position of any power, we have these Dems, and they're actually liberals, come in and they try to split the votes. They brought in their own person so that they can lie, cheat, and steal. Danny Griffin also blamed so-called outsiders for tipping the vote. About two chairmans ago, many Democrats were able to find their way into part of what we see tonight. Tune in tomorrow for comment from outgoing interim chair, now vice chair, Jamie Parham, and newly elected chairman, Denver Cook. For St. Augustine's Local Morning News, I'm Liz Ryan. This local news is a service of your hometown Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota, here to wow you. We continually meet to find the most effective, efficient ways to get projects across the finish line. St. John's County's budget director updated the board on more than a half billion dollars of planned infrastructure projects. In the last four years, the commission's investment um, between fiscal years 21 and 24 exceed about $588 million. Office of Management and Budget Director Jesse Dunn with a breakdown of how the money is being spent. About $300 million in roadway infrastructure and plenty more to invest. Uh, $50 million in drainage as we see more, certainly more drainage concerns coming. Uh, $68 million in facility infrastructure and then $173 million in our coastal infrastructure. Commissioner Krista Joseph asking about staying within the county's $1.2 billion budget. I just want to make sure that we stay within the budget. All of our projects either go through uh, the CIP program and then are funded through our annual budget process. Anything that might uh, diverge from that process is brought to this commission, right, right? That either as a regular agenda item or a consent agenda item. So everything falls within the budget process. The county also announced a $123 million regional park plan set to begin this year. For St. Augustine's Local Morning News, I'm Daryl Moody. North Beach Park pedestrian bridge is closing for repairs. The pedestrian bridge over State Road A1A from North Beach Park to Volano Beach will close for repairs today through Friday, reopening for the weekend before closing again so repairs can be completed between May 20th and 23rd. The repairs are happening for the pedestrian bridge to meet its safety requirements to remain open. Anyone who placed a lock on the pedestrian bridge in the past and wants to retrieve it has until today. Once repairs begin, any remaining locks will be removed and discarded. For St. Augustine's Local Morning News, I'm Karen Johnson. And now you're up to date with St. Augustine's Local Morning News. I'm Rich Carroll.